Hello and welcome to another video on the West Yorkshire Bus Spots channel. Today I'm going to do a video about all my bus stuff. So, without further ado, let's get going. Shall we start on the models? Right, I've, already, I've recently done a model video but I've added some more to my collection since then. So uh, I'm going to run through them all again. Um, as well as everything else further towards the end of the video. So let's get started. Here are what I believe to be Route Masters, uh, one open top and one solid top uh, in Lond from London in the London livery. Um, so they're in the London Transport livery. Above that, so the Leyland Atlantean in the Huddersfield Corporation livery in the red and cream uh, on the route to Outlane. Up above that, so near is our coach in the Eddie Stobart livery. Um, and above that is a London Transport Trolleybus, a triaxle trolleybus with the uh, arms for the uh, oops, the arms for the uh, wires. Back down to the bottom, then we have a Bristol L5G in the Merth Tidville Corporation colours. Above that's a London Country uh, green double deck bus uh, on the. I think it's meant to be the 483 Route Crawley, Route to Crawley and Northgate. Above that we have a London United in the red and cream livery, London United bus. It's front engine and front door, which is unusual. Um, down here we've got another uh, sort of maroon colour and white uh, double deck bus. Above that we have a few Van Hoolalees coaches. First in the Shearings, uh, Old Shearings livery, above that, same uh, Van Hula Lees in the Wallace Arnold livery, and then another Van Hula Lees in the Ellen Smith livery. Above that, we have a National Holidays Volvo coach, I'm not quite sure of the exact model of that, but uh, yeah, National Holidays coach. Then back down to the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, we have a Mercedes Beaver bus. Uh, well, we've got two of those actually. First one uh, in the first Calder Line livery at Hall from Halifax on the 510 route to Halifax. Um, and that's uh, most of these are the original Omnibus Company from Corky, as you can uh, see here. And then next to that, we've got um, another Mercedes Beaver bus. Uh, this time it's first Midland Red on the 38 route. Next to this we have an AC Reliance, um, as you can see it says in the box there, above that we've got, uh, not quite sure where this is, uh, what uh, model or where it is, it's uh, got middle door there if you can see that, don't know if you can see, the door in the middle. Um, up above that we've got, a, here is our i6 coach. Uh, obviously six wheeler triaxle uh, in the uh, Translink Gold Line X1 and X2 livery um, from Belfast to Dublin. If you can see here, I don't know if we can just get it. Uh... So, uh... oops, there's the route. If you can see that, it's uh, a real route. Um, goes Belfast to Dublin Airport or Dublin City Centre um, and they are £8 single. Above that we have a London Transport double deck uh, rear entrance bus on the 52 route and uh, that's it for our models so I think that's 19 models if you count the two route masters as separate ones. Right, uniform I think next. So if we come down here to the hangar Oh, one's falling off. Start with the uh, TM Travel at halfway at Sheffield. Uh, Gardner's NMC. They're from uh, Northumberland, I believe. This is uh, no no company branding. Uh, that's Stotts of Huddersfield. That's the old tie, though, because uh, the new one uh, they've got new ones. An old first tie and another first tie there. If you can see, there's a little. First badges throughout. Hiding behind here, we've got an old National Express tie. 
And then there's one that's fallen on the floor. Uh, centre bus. That's a centre bus tie. Yorkshire Traction. Yorkshire Tiger. National Express, another old one. And uh, Cheerings, an old Cheerings one. And hiding behind there by the fireplace, if you can see that. Um, there's an Areva tie there. Just bear with me and I'll light that up. There we go, that's a little bit better. So that's the Areva tie. And then if we come up here, this is the uh, Areva Epilex. I've got one there and another one over here. Um, yeah, as you can see there, that's Areva. It says Areva. Oops. So I'll turn that light off now. Come back out. And over here we have Yorkshire Tiger. As we can see here, Yorkshire Tiger. Uh, winter fleecy jacket with the uh, orange and grey there. Looks very nice. Uh, that was given to... Well, all, most of these things were given me given to me by drivers or I picked up on eBay for a few pounds uh, this is a Yorkshire Traction backpack brand new um, for the drivers drivers bag um, that was given to me by one of the drivers that's Yorkshire Traction there uh, not to get confused with the Yorkshire Tiger um, and then if we just stand up here there's uh, Yorkshire, also a Yorkshire Tiger if we stay with the Yorkshire Tiger uh, a driver's torch. Now the drivers get given torches um, for the bus inspection in the morning. Now that one there goes back to... Oops, I can't just do it with one hand. Never mind. And that turns the torch on, but I won't do that because it'll just make it uh, too bright. So, uh, as I say, that's the Yorkshire Tiger driver's inspection torch right bus parts we will start with bells so I've got uh, got a few bells there's uh, four here sorry that uh, and then start here then so this is a modern day bell obviously uh, with the square push button uh, this would be mounted in probably in the priority seats on the front of the bus for the elderly and disabled people and would be mounted on the wall of the bus on the side underneath the window. Whew. Next to this we have two uh, pole mounted bells, one with the round push button and one with the square again, um, with the uh, curved outside for the... Uh, to mount onto the pole and if we just take a look at this one this has still got all the wiring in look uh, the circuit board down there so uh, it's, uh, straight out the bus and to me now here I have a good old fashioned uh, metal bell push obviously no bell in it to push but um, yeah the bell uh, exterior part of that so good heavy metal, old, uh, yeah. Right, uh, down here, man badge. I believe this is from the centre of a steering wheel out of a bus. Um, so that's just sat there on the front of that. Uh, I've also got a daft badge, which are very similar, if you can see, slightly smaller. Also believed to be from the centre of a steering wheel. Um, and down here, doors. Uh, emergency door open and close buttons from the interior of the bus. Um, obviously the open and the close. Um, most people would expect the colours to be the other way around, so green for open and red to close. But they're not, so that's how they normally are. And up here to go with those opening controls, the opening buttons, is the sign. Door control for passenger emergency use only. So obviously the emergency use only for passengers. Obviously the driver needs it when he gets off to close the doors behind him. Um, but yes, so that uh, that would be mounted onto the bus. Obviously you can see there's uh, the screw holes there. 
Um, right, I've got this as well. I'm still not 100% sure what this is. It's obviously a, uh, opened it up. There's lots of wires and things in there with the button. I think it's some sort of, uh, some sort of button from in the engine, from under the engine cover to, uh, sort of turn the engine off in emergencies. Right, next, a uh, Northern Counties Coach Builder badge uh, mounted on the front of our, a lot of the old buses. Uh, just plastic, but the, uh, as you can see, it's uh, never been fitted, still got the mounting things on that. Now, if we go right up to the top above my uh, nice bus collage there that I made, we have got a Yorkshire rider. Uh, took a minute to think in this tiger traction rider all them um, Yeah, so Yorkshire rider embroidered badge uh, Next to that we've got the Volvo uh, Volvo badge plastic um, Presumably from the uh, center of a steering wheel like the man badge that I showed you earlier Now we're coming to the conductors area now up here because uh, as you can see, there's the conductor's badge there that every conductor and every uh, every conductor used to get. Drivers had uh, the same, but red, and obviously it said uh, driver there rather than the conductor on the bottom. So I'll just explain this. Uh, BB was the Yorkshire code, I believe. Um, obviously it says passenger service vehicle conductor, and then the drivers have red ones. They say passenger, passenger service vehicle driver and then the double one double oh six oh is the unique ID code for each driver next to this if we just have a closer look we've got the uh, look, conductors whistle there um, obviously when they when they want to set off the uh, blow the whistle or anything so uh, you know uh, Toot toot. And then uh, finally tickets, ticket reels. So shall we start with the oldest? Uh, it's uh, Greater Manchester Transport. Whoops, it it. That's it. Greater Manchester Transport. It says issued subject to regulations, not transferable, and luggage parcels and dogs at passengers' risk. So that's a uh, old Greater Manchester ticket reel. On the uh, there, so that'll go in the machine and obviously it prints your ticket onto that and spits it out. Now next to it here, whoop, pop that up there. Next to underneath that rather, we've got two first ones. They're not neither of them are full ones. Um obviously the left one's more on it than the right one. Um uh, these for the modern day ticket or ticket machines for first that they have at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me, that's too much talking. <coughs> um Yep, so, and then finally next to it, there's uh, the Yorkshire Tiger one. You can just uh, just about make out the Yorkshire Tiger badge there, with the uh, Roaring Tiger on the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there for the, mm, the current ticket machines. I uh, can't remember all the letters and numbers that go with it. I think it's something like TP something thousand or whatever so uh, same uh, ticket machines as stagecoach but as of the 1st of September this year 2018 that is uh, they're getting the new ticket machines uh, so they'll be ticketer like for the first ones here so obviously new ticket reels which are uh, obviously the ticketer ones are slightly uh, they're a bit uh, taller upward like that than, uh, than the ticket ones now finally, my final thing that I'm going to show you today is the uh, monthly ticket holder there from uh, Preston Bus, if we just open it up to the inside underneath the plastic. Um, obviously Preston Bus, uh, valid as advertised, individual ticket uh, number there on the end and on the top. Um, valid only with Preston Travel Club. Uh, membership card so yeah and there's a book of those look there and that's it so 
If you have enjoyed this video today, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Comment and tell me what you like, what your favourite bus is out of my collection and what your favourite thing is out the whole collection and the ties and everything there. So, uh, yes, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I say, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. Uh, and bye for now.